Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2015, brought to you by CCI Solutions. CCI Solutions has served churches across the U.S. for over 40 years. Visit their website at ccisolutions.com. So we are uh, continuing our NAB 2015 coverage. We've swung over to the Sony booth and a couple of their new cameras caught our eye. So I'm here with Thomas Cubby of uh, Sony and he is gonna walk us through the PXW X160. New, uh, new camera out here and so I'm gonna walk us through some of the cool features of this particular camera. Awesome, great, thanks Mike. Uh, so this is the PXW X160. It's um, sort of the cousin to the X180 minus some key features wireless functionality, GPS, and proxy file recording. Uh, but it does have all these other features that the 180 has, like this new 25 times G-series lens. So it's a very wide lens, it's 26 millimeters, and then you've got 25 times, so really it's the widest range of camcorders in this, in this uh, range. Uh, one of the main functions of this lens, that's, that's a real nice feature, is the ability to go full manual on your focus. So you pull this ring back where you see the orange ring, and now I've got stops on each end where a traditional electronic lens is going to spin around and you kind of lose where you're going to be in a focus range. Um, and then the full iris ring as well, servo control. Uh, newly designed chipset that has a lot of sensitivity from third end sensors. So we're, we're right around F10 sensitivity and an excellent signal to noise as well. Uh, we added not only ND filters, but a variable ND. So we simply push in one of the three filters and these can be reassigned to different values. Uh, and then I can kick over my variable switch and now I can do adjustment with my ND. So in a case where I want to set my own aperture, and to determine my creative aspect of the video, and then I can dial in my ND to the proper exposure. There's even a mode for auto ND, so as you open and change your iris, the camera adjusts on the fly, it's seamless, you can't even tell. Now on the back of the camera, we have our media here. It does use the S by S card slots, because this camera is capable of recording not only XAVC-I, but XAVC-L as well and then additionally MPEG-2, 35 and 50 megabit. Uh, the camera also is capable of, X, uh, is capable of AVC-HD. Uh, when you do that, you need to put adapters in to use SD cards for the AVC-HD. And we actually include one card in the box. So you get that S, uh, S by S2 SD card adapter in there. Some nice interfaces on the back as well. We have Genlock, uh, timecode I.O., SDI and HDMI out, okay? And then last thing here, I have an OLED viewfinder. So typically, small viewfinders are very difficult to use because of the resolution that you lose, uh, and it makes it difficult to do fine focus when you're outdoors. But having an OLED viewfinder has that high contrast, and that high contrast is perceived in higher resolution, which now gives you that ability to have very sharp focus. Very cool. It's a really good camera. I was playing with it earlier. It has a great lens on it. You can really get in tight on uh, some uh, longer shots, but it's very wide as well. So it could also double as a great uh, ENG kind of production camera. Um, the one question everyone is going to have is pricing and availability. Pricing and availability. That's a really good question. <laughs> so uh, the, this camera sells for approximately 4000 and it's available now from what I understand. Yep. All right, so for four grand, really well-featured camera. Uh, because it has Genlock, uh, could be very well used as a iMag camera in smaller rooms, and it can be taken off tripod and used as an ENG. So really neat. If people want to learn more, they can go to the Sony website. Sony.com forward slash professional, or since we're at NAB, Sony.com slash NAB. Sony.com slash NAB. Very cool. Thanks, Thomas.